Uh, so you like taking photos and maybe developing them. Mm -hmm. Or you may be saying, what is developing photos? Well, many years before smartphones and digital cameras, you would have to go to a photo lab to develop your film. Very interesting. Photo lab. That's yes, right. but the term is taking on a whole new meaning when we headed out to the photo lab at the New Mexico Museum of Art in this week's Culture Pass Challenge. Hey guys, so we're here at the New Mexico Museum of Art checking out the photo lab. And if you're like me and an enthusiast of photography, this is the place you gotta check out. The photo lab, like the art of photography itself, is ever changing. The ongoing exhibit explores the vast medium of photography and encourages visitors to expand their views beyond the lens. Well, first of all, some people probably don't even know what a photo lab is. That's a place where photographs are processed commercially, and that doesn't happen so much anymore. Right. So our photo lab is less about uh, processing photographs and processing information about photographs. Mm -hmm. We really wanted to take this opportunity to kind of drill down and give people a chance to really find out more about this medium that's so much a part of our lives. Mm -hmm. With every smartphone user on the planet being a potential photographer, the photo lab gives those in the digital era a greater appreciation of film processing and shares mediums they may have never even known existed. It feels like that transition to digital that you were talking about was pretty traumatic for a lot of people. The, it happened quickly in the commercial world. That transition happened and people just made the switch, but a lot of people still have such a, an affection for the dark room and a lot of people still find it a more viable way to, to make pictures. Right. You know, I, I grew up with gelatin silver prints and I love that silver, I love that metal, I love what that can do, but that's one really specific effect and there are lots of different kinds of photographs that we, we tend to just use a few of them, okay. but here we want people to learn about the whole range of processes, techniques, and different approaches to making a photograph. Those differences create the ongoing rotation of exhibits at the photo lab. You have a revolving sort of set of photos, so at some point you focus on one medium or maybe one uh, format of processing, so is it kind of an ongoing thing? So if we've been here once, we should continue to come back to Absolutely. Season. Very dynamic. This year we're doing a series called Focus on Photography, so until March of 2015, the whole upstairs of the museum will be photography. So the next set of shows, we have another solo show coming up by Delilah Montoya. We have here in the photo lab what we're calling alternative photography, so really different kinds of approaches using old processes, using different media with photography. Uh, and then in the, uh, the other space, we'll have a show called Camera Less, and that uh, will be pictures that were made without a camera, photographs made without a camera. Wow. So again, just to show this incredible range of the flexibility of this medium. So for more information on the photo lab and to get your hands on a culture pass, head over to casa.com and click on the style tab.